Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. My husband and I are on a journey to reach financial stability and freedom using the cash stuffing method. So if you wanna see how we do that, then just keep watching. Well, happy new year. I love a fresh start. I love a clean slate and that's what I feel like this year is for me and for my husband and my family. So very excited. Today's video is not going to be a cash stuffing. I am actually changing up um, my binders. I've got some new stuff. I want to reset um, kind of everything because I've only been cash stuffing for five months. So I really am looking forward to having a full calendar year of cash stuffing to see what goals we can reach. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in with, I made some new envelopes. So like this is just some of them. Um, but I made new envelopes. These are matte, matte vellum envelopes. Um, and I think they turned out so nicely. I'm so excited to use these. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swap out all of my old envelopes for the new envelopes. And we're going to reassign some, um, I have new category. I have a couple of new categories and I do need to get one more binder, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got right now. I did just get a new binder. Um, this was a Christmas gift I asked for. Um, so this is from the brand Skydoo and they send, um, I thought the rose gold was really pretty, but I'm not a huge fan of how large the fonts are so i never really use these um but i always keep them just in case but i thought that it was really cool they actually have colored labels in this pack so i'm definitely going to keep these so these will just go in like where i keep all of my extra supplies for cash stuffing um to use if i ever decide to but i typically just set those to the side um but this is the binder that i got it's like a blue gray color and i think it's really pretty really nice um and then in it i have budgeting sheets which i do keep these as well and then the zippered envelope pouches um i don't know how many come in this but i keep these as well for um overflow money or anything like that goes in the zippered pouches in a separate place. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. That is the cleanest that has ever come out before. <laughs> All right, so I don't know which binder this is gonna be. I haven't really thought this out. So right now, this is my bills binder this is high priority and this is low priority so i think i have um i went through and like came up with a bunch of different envelopes and a bunch of different categories and i think i'm gonna keep this one i think i'm gonna keep these three the same so bills high priority low priority but then i have a category called um seasonal and then I also have a binder that is personal, my personal binder, but I don't have a binder for that yet. So actually give me just, give me just a second because I forgot something. I think, so yeah, bills, high priority, low priority. I think this one is going to be my seasonal binder. And then for Christmas, I actually got a new wallet, which is so beautiful i love it so much i actually just took the wrapper off of it so i've not opened it so we're gonna open it together oh it snagged on something oh, oh my gosh oh wow it comes with a pen and everything awesome okay well there's a pen take this out it comes with a little strap which i will put on and then it also has some envelopes in here which i probably won't use for my actual like wallet but i will probably use these um somewhere else um okay 
but then it's really pretty on the inside so it has a place for me to like and this also comes out so if you like the binder or if you like the wallet but you don't want like you don't use um hole punched ones you can take this out or if you get like a different one you can take it out if you want um so i like it has a place for my um envelopes has id card holders it has more card holders here and here and then it has a nice uh oh that's not good there we go it has a nice coin pouch i actually did not realize that it came with a coin pouch i thought that i was gonna have to attach one so the fact that i can put my coins in here you can put receipts in here like i do have a receipt like you can fit receipts in there and it's not going to interfere like i don't know i like this so we are going to also set up this wallet is going to be my new wallet i'm going to go ahead and attach so yeah this is super cute also it's like half cloudy half not today so if i'm adjusting my lighting um i apologize okay so then there's that so then because I have a new wallet and I need a binder for personal, um, I'm, I wanna get another binder. But until that happens, we're just gonna work with what we have. I love this um, wallet, I really, really do. And I am sad to not be using it anymore, even though I am super excited. Actually, this is not much larger than my current wallet. Um, I'm way more excited for this one because it's just gonna help me function more, but I am going to miss using this. So I think that this will be my personal binder. So I'm gonna take these cards out take all this stuff out um, and this will just be my personal binder for right now until I get a new one so first up is my bills binder so let me find my bills envelopes all right and I don't think I have the only thing I have in here is Taxes. So we're going to go ahead and take out all of these envelopes. And I'm going to put these in order of when they are due. So first is rent. Then I'm going to do renter's insurance. I have a lot of bills that are due on the first. So... Um, okay. Bank fee and car payment. Technically, my bank fee is due on the 30th, but my bank fee and my car payment are with a different bank than the rest of my bills come out. Um, and I didn't want to have two separate envelopes because my bank fee is literally $10. So I was like, I'm just going to lump it all in one. Um, so we have bank fee and car payment. And then... We have Disney Plus, which I apparently have been putting in the wrong bank for like months. It also comes out of it also comes out of this bank, but I had already made these envelopes by the time that I realized that and I was like, oh my gosh. I had no idea that I did not switch that. I, I might just go ahead and switch the card that it's on so that it comes out of the different bank. But um and then we have my credit card payment, which this one always fluctuates between, like it, it truly just depends. I try to make it on a certain day of the month, but when the payment is actually due fluctuates. So then we have did I not, where is that? Maybe I passed it. Yeah, I did. Epidemic sound, which is what I get my music for YouTube through. Um, my student loan payment. Spotify. YouTube TV, which is our cable. Internet. Internet. 
electric, which electric fluctuates between like four days. Um, it's usually due between the 18th and the 22nd. Um, so I just always mark it as the 18th. That way I'm, I would rather be early on it than be late. So Amazon CarMax for my car payment, vet. And then, like I said, technically after vet is the bank fee, but I will just rope that in with the beginning and then copay. So I am going to have a copay now because I, um, got a new job. Um, I have different insurance and I do now have a copay. This one is also like, I'm treating it as a bill, but I don't actually have a due date for it. Um, because this is going to be for when, like when I have therapy appointments and my copay is $25 per session. And I typically have two sessions a month. So I'm just going to treat this as a bill. That way I don't forget about it because I am not used to paying a copay. Um, I literally never had to pay a copay before. So yeah, but okay. My bill binder is all ready to go and it looks super good. So Bill's binder is complete. Okay, so this is high priority and it's gonna remain high priority, but for the time being, this is gonna be high priority and savings because savings is a high priority, but I do want my savings envelopes to be in a separate binder. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put high priority and savings in here. So let me grab those. This is high priority and this is savings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put high priority in here and then I'm going to stuff with what came out of high priority. Some of these things are moving to savings. Some of these are moving to low priority. So yeah. So in high priority, we have date night, Molly, which is our dog lease break. We are trying to break our lease groceries and gas. So I'm trying to think of high priority as like the things that keep our four walls up. What are the things that we need in order to run our house and maintain our lifestyle? And I know that some people are like, date night is a four walls thing. And I think that it is having, like spending in intentional time with my husband. Like we have decided for our marriage that spending intentional time with each other is a priority and needs to be done often, but like specifically date night, like leaving the apartment and going out for a date night. Or sometimes that means that we're going to order in. Sometimes that means that we're going to go out and spend money. Sometimes we're going to go out and try and do something for free. Like it is a four walls thing for us. So yes, I know that that may sound crazy, but like it, it is a big deal to us. So we're going to do groceries Yes, Molly, date night, and lease break. Those are all my high priority. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put savings in here. I'm going to order another binder off of Amazon. And when that comes in, I will take all the savings envelopes out and put it in its own binder. Um, but for now, here is our savings category and the main reason why is like these this is like a lot there's a lot of things in here so yeah so in here we have vehicle maintenance this is for mine and my husband's car like all of this stuff my husband and I save there's very little that's just us or just me um vehicle maintenance month ahead Baby Evans, we are not pregnant yet, but we are on a trying to conceive journey. Um, so we are trying to financially plan for having a baby. So Baby Evans, taxes, this is my taxes. My husband, Because my husband and I do have our own businesses, um, there are, like, we do have to plan for taxes. These are just my taxes. My husband handles his own taxes. Um, so I, like, I don't share everything. Um, and I really only share like most of our shared stuff and my personal stuff, but his personal stuff. And then some of our shared stuff, we do keep private. So this is just for my taxes. 
car insurance. This is for my car insurance because I pay by six months. My husband does his own car insurance because his are paid monthly. Buffer, car registration. This is for both of our cars. Emergency health, general savings, down payment, and that's it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put these in a kind of a specific order. Uh, okay, we're gonna do taxes, baby Evans. Um, we're gonna do down payment. Like it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> uh, okay. Um, buffer. Car insurance, car registration, emergency health, vehicle maintenance, general savings, and month ahead. Okay. So now we have everything in there. I'm going to go ahead and swap money. So I'm going to take out money from other envelopes and put it in. So Molly currently has 40. This is my first time putting any money in any of my new envelopes. I think that looks so good. Okay, Molly, general savings has 35. It's going to take me some time to get used to my order of how I put things in. Emergency health has 35 as well. Baby Evans has 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, $205. I need to do a bill condensing because that's a lot of tens. Here's Baby Evans. Uh, getting ahead, this is one month ahead. Or no, this is lease break. Which should be over here. So in lease break, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 25. And I am thinking about taking out my trackers, but I, I don't know. I like, like it, but I don't like it at the same time. I don't know. It just feels not me. That's least break. Um, I did not make myself a new business envelope. I might keep this one. I'm going to keep all of these, but like I might keep this one and just use it in a different way, but I, I don't know. Date night. We did use $20 of date night money. So we just have our gift cards still. So I'm just going to put those back in there. We need to use these. We got these for our wedding. Like we need to use that. Um, okay. That was it for that. I like don't know where to put all this. <laughs> um, okay. And then I'm pretty sure I have, oh, I have taxes over here. And I'm going to go through all of my envelopes at the end like off camera to make sure that I'm good. But in taxes, we have, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 
and taxes. My husband and I are filing jointly, but I kind of want to know how much I have for my personal taxes. But taxes. And then I'm pretty sure I have some in my low priority binder that need to come out. So down payment needs to come out. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, and down payment, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. Sorry if you can hear that siren. Car insurance has 15. Yeah, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to get rid of these. I don't I think I'm going to track it in a different way. I've been thinking about it and I'm just not super in love with that process. This is car registration. We have 25 in car registration. Vehicle maintenance. Also has 25. Okay, one month ahead is 20, or 20, 10, 15, 25. Eventually, we would like to get like three or six months ahead, but we're going to start with one. Um, okay, and that is, I think, everything that's in that goes in here. This is beefy for sure, but it won't be once I get an another binder. So that's high priority and savings. So now we're going to do low priority. So... These are empty. Just take these out. These over here. Okay, low priority here. Okay, and low priority, we have eating out, miscellaneous, travel, home decor, vacation, home supplies. So this is like um, toilet paper and paper towels and cleaning products and all that kind of stuff. Clothing, kindness, personal hygiene. So this is like toothpaste, body wash, my husband's shampoo and conditioner, his hair products, stuff like that. Going out. So before I had like each season, and I had each season because I was like, oh, there are specific fall activities that we like to go out and do. There are specific, like, I don't know, like there are specific things that we like to go out and do, but also just like, we want to go out. We just had friends um, in town for New Year's Eve weekend. Well, like in between Christmas and New Year's Eve. And like we went out and we want to be able to have money to be able to go out and do those things. So this is just like, we want to go out. We want to have fun. This is going out money. And that's it. Okay. So in low priority, we're going to do eating out, going out, home supplies, Clothing, 
personal hygiene, travel, vacation, home decor, miscellaneous, and kindness. So, I don't think many of them had anything, but let's see. Oh, I have savings challenge. This is going to probably go in my savings binder, so I'll just throw that in there. I did not make another envelope, so. Um, this also needs to go in low priority. So this is um, my husband's business envelope. I did not make a new one of these um, because he's, like, been handling all of his business expenses completely on his own. Like he's not sent me money that he's made to like for me to hold on to and cash stuff for him. He's just been handling it all by himself. So I'm like, okay, well, we really don't need this. Cause I was like, I made you an envelope and you never send me money to put stuff in there. And he's like, yeah, cause I, I kind of do it by myself now. And like, I don't really, I don't really, he didn't ever go into the envelope um, to get his money. So he was like, yeah, I don't ever really use it. So he was like, but if you want to, if you want to throw a dollar or so in there at the end of the year, if I have $20, like, cool. <laughs> so, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that is everything that had money in it. So yeah, this is low priority and that is all set. All right, then this one's gonna be our seasonal envelope. And I'm really excited for the categories in here. So we have Thanksgiving. Okay, so this is gonna sound weird, but I have a, like, I always say I have like Thanksgiving. That's a specific holiday. But then I have just like a general holidays envelope. So my thought was I have a few envelopes that are specifically for specific holidays that I want to be very intentional for. But holidays that like are not that big of a deal to us, but like if on a whim we're like, you know what, let's go do something. It's this holiday, then we can. So I had in mind that this envelope would be for like Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, um, Memorial Day, um, I'm trying to think what else, Labor Day, like random holidays that like we don't really do anything for, they don't really affect us, especially because we don't have kids, but like if he wants to take me out for Valentine's Day dinner, we want to go out for Valentine's Day dinner and there's money in holidays, like that's what we can spend it on. But I wanted to do it in a way that like wasn't pressure or like Halloween. If we want to buy like Halloween candy, if we want to buy something for 4th of July, like sparklers or we want to buy, you know, I don't, I have no idea, but that's just where my mind was when I did that. So holidays, <laughs> seasonal decor. So this is for, I really only buy seasonal decor for every season, every season except for summer. I don't really like summer decor. Um, so I was just like, it doesn't make sense to have all three of those seasons have a separate decor envelope. So this will just be seasonal decor. Um, six, nine, six, 10 is my, um, our wedding anniversary. So we got married on the ninth in a civil ceremony. And then the 10th is when we had our actual wedding ceremony. So we celebrate both. <laughs> so we have two anniversaries. So this is specifically for our anniversary, um, and specifically our first anniversary, which I cannot believe will be in five months. Like that is insane. So this is another example. So Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas. Anniversaries are for other people's anniversaries. So our parents' anniversaries, so his parents, my parents' anniversaries, um, my siblings' anniversaries, stuff like that. Like if we want to get them a little something, that is what anniversaries is for. Birthdays is literally for everybody's birthday. So birthday gifts, um, cause obviously we don't have kids, so we're not throwing any birthday parties, but birthday gifts, birthday cards. If we want to chip in on like birthday celebrations, food or whatever, that money will come out of birthdays. And then yeah, Thanksgiving. Okay. So I'm going to put these in order. So oh, let me open this. That would be nice. 
So we're going to do holidays. I'm going to put them in order of like, when they occur. Except for holidays and seasonal decor are just going to... Actually, those are going to go in the back. We're just going to put those in the back. Um, okay, so I think it's Mother's Day first. Then Father's Day. I actually think... I actually think I'm going to do... No, that's okay. I think we have a birthday before we have anniversaries. So I think I'm going to do anniversaries and birthdays in the back as well. But we're going to do birthdays first. And then our wedding anniversary. Thanksgiving. And Christmas. Beautiful. Okay. And I don't have anything that goes in these right now because Christmas was the last holiday that we saved for and Christmas is over. So, all right. That is our seasonal or holiday binder. Okay, now I'm going to do my personal binder. So I'm just going to take this. out oh I have change in here hold on I gotta show you guys something so for my personal binder I really wanted a personal binder I really wanted to prioritize like I do a lot for us and for our family and i am very proud of myself for that but i also want to make sure that i am prioritizing myself and feeling like i can spend my money how i want to as well i just need to plan for that <laughs> so um i have a starbucks binder because i love getting myself starbucks and if i can get myself starbucks like a couple of times a week versus just once a week or like very rarely or only on special occasions like getting starbucks i know it sounds ridiculous but like getting a starbucks means so much to me so um starbucks dave so this is a envelope that if i want to buy my husband something i can um we actually have an amazon list going of like just because gifts so we just whenever we're on amazon we're like oh we like that and we're not buying it like that moment we can put it on the just because list and the other person has access to the like it's a shared list um and we have just said like every once in a while we will go on there and buy a just because gift so if i want to do that or if i'm at target or something i can um this envelope says chelsea um so this is just my personal spending however i want to spend it and okay and then i have nails hair care and yeah starbucks so Part of the reason, another reason why I wanted it um, was because like I wanted to be able to say like this is hair care money. Having like my hair products are expensive and I only need them like typically on a once a month basis but I don't want to have to spend my spending money on hair products. Like this is a need. Like I, I need hair stuff for my hair. Now Starbucks and nails are a want but like again I would rather... Like, I have money to go get my nails done. And if I want to go out to the mall and buy myself a cute top or something like that, like, I I don't have to prioritize, like, well, I can get my nails done, but I can't go and get this, or I can't take myself shopping, like, or I can't get my hair done. Like, I, I don't, I don't like that. That is super limiting. So, I'm going to get a binder soon. I don't know how long this will last. Probably not long at all. Like, maybe a week. Um, but yeah, all that is in there and I do have some money. This is actually Starbucks money in here. So, um, I'm going to put this Starbucks gift card is my spending money, like two Starbucks. I returned something uh, a month ago and then this money is Starbucks money and I'm actually going to do... I actually think I'm gonna take, no, I'm gonna put all this in cervix because I also have a gift card, so that's fine. And I'm actually gonna take this 
Target gift card out and set it to the side for just a second and I will show you guys why in just a second. Um, okay, but that is all going in my personal binder and then I'm also gonna put Chelsea Business in my personal binder. And I might make an envelope for that too, but that's fine for now. Okay, so there's my pseudo personal binder for now. And finally, we are gonna set up my wallets. I'm just gonna move these over here. Okay, we're gonna set up my wallet. And I did make envelopes specifically for my wallet this time. That way I'm not always pulling like that whole envelope out of my binder. So like the way that I thought about it was, okay, let me show you first. So in my wallet, and I did it in a different font, I have miscellaneous, kindness, Chelsea, errands, and then I have two blank envelopes. So I figured that like miscellaneous, kindness, Chelsea, like these all have envelopes in another binder. So I will stuff those and then as I need to replenish my wallet, I will take it from my binder. Um, I really like Emily from the Aesthetic Dollar does it like that and I really like that i tried it just having like one miscellaneous one child spending one kindness well i didn't have a kindness but like i just had one of those and it was very difficult to feel like i could do both like or that i could stuff for my wallet because it just felt like i don't have this money so i just i like the I, I like how she does it and i thought that that might work better for me so we have those and then errands will be for like I will stuff the envelope, I will stuff my grocery envelope, which is in my high priority, and then that's an errand, like running grocery or getting groceries is an errand. So I will pull that money out and I'll put it in errands. Or if I have multiple errands to go, then I can take the envelope out and put it in my wallet and then put it back. But for just like, I know I'm just going to go run and do groceries really quick, like that can go in errands. Or if I need to run and get Molly dog food, that's an errand. So I can just put it in here. And then I have blank ones just in case um, I find that I need, um, like if I have multiple errands to go, I can do like, okay, this one's dog food, this one's groceries, this one is, I don't know, personal hygiene. And then I can just like write a, a sticky note really quick and just pop it in there with the money and then I know what it is. But it doesn't like make anything super off. probably should have like measured to make sure that when I was hole punching my wallet ones that they would actually fit in here because I did not do that so I'm very thankful that they fit um but this gift card is going to go in my wallet that way I always have it on me never know when a target trip will happen um and then I will go ahead and put like my cards in here and stuff like that Perfect, not bulky at all. All right, well that was it for this video. It feels so good to have my binders set up. I can't wait, I'm gonna get another one for my savings and probably another one for my personal binder just cause now that I have that one set up, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I like that. I don't know how functional that's gonna be. But anyway, like I said, I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for what's to come. I am going to be planning how much money I'm gonna be putting in my sinking funds um and setting goals for my sinking funds especially since i took out the trackers i still want to make sure that i'm reaching goals and setting goals um i don't know if i'm going to do that on camera but i will probably show you guys once i get that kind of figured out what that looks like um and like what my goals are that way we're reaching those goals throughout the year that was it for this one guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more and i'll see you in my next one Okay, bye.